Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my review for season 10, episode 20 of The Walking Dead, titled Splinter. Now I'm so grateful, I've said this over the numerous weeks, that I'm so happy that The Walking Dead is back on in COVID times, and I'm grateful to the cast and crew in AMC who greenlit this and are giving us entertainment in such hard times. They went back into a COVID environment to give us these six additional episodes, and for that, I am grateful but this episode right here is probably my least favorite of the episodes so far that we have gotten and i'll get into that now but the last time we got to see this group of eugene yumiko uh, ezekiel and princess was when they were on a journey and they were captured by the stormtrooper probably commonwealth type of people now that was interesting badass moment with a cliffhanger like oh my god who are these people but eugene of course he was talking to a woman on radio and he thinks he has found the love of his life without meeting the love of his life and they set upon this journey to go meet this woman but they're captured by these commonwealth probably it's probably the commonwealth from the comics now the basic plot for this episode goes eugene ezekiel yumiko and princess are captured and separated princess struggles with memories of her traumatic past and tries to escape one way or another with the help of ezekiel now it is my least favorite it's not a great episode i thought last week's episode was unbelievable the writing the acting all top notch this episode i understood what they were going for but the payoff wasn't as good as what they were going for it felt like an episode that was just dead wood it wasn't trying to move the plot forward any further now you could say that the previous episodes were pretty similar but i thought the character development the interaction the acting some of the action sequences were pretty good i enjoyed seeing Daryl. I enjoyed Father Gabriel and Aaron. This episode, I know I know that Princess is a new character. And it, I understood what they were going for. They were giving her her own origin, her own arc, her own character development. And we got to learn some very dark things about Princess. Was She was abused when she was younger. She's, she's not right in the head. She's gone through a lot of stuff in her life. And I can understand what they were going for. But this episode just didn't intrigue me whatsoever. You have the Commonwealth. Okay, this new group. Show me something interesting. I was never expecting to see the full community or anything like that because it would be so big, COVID, all that kind of thing. I understand that. But I would have liked to see, like, what do these people do? What do they all look like? You know, why do they wear this outfit? Where is their location? How big is their location? Why do they interrogate the group so, so aggressively? Why? Now, I understand, like... This is a community. They want to protect what they have. So new people, you're going to be asked questions. And it will be the same at Alexandria or Hilltop of a new group or new people came. They would be asked questions. So I understood that. That's something that we've seen time and time again over the Walking Dead universe. Where are, you, where are you from? Where are you coming from? What's your name? All that kind of stuff. We've seen that so many times. But I wanted a little bit more to understand who and what this group is. And we never really got it. I'm sure we'll get it in season 11, of course, the last season. But just show us something here to intrigue us to see this group again. Now this episode just is really a princess episode and that's okay because she's a new character. We want to learn more about her and we find out that she was abused when she was younger and these are a lot of traumatic things that she's brought into her adulthood. Of course the apocalypse does not help either. Now she is creating stuff in her own head. She thinks that she's talking to Ezekiel. She's talking to Eugene when actually she's not. And in this episode Princess becomes a false narrator. You can't believe actually what's going on in the episode because it might be true and it might not be true because a lot of this episode was not true. She pictured she was talking to Eze uh, Ezekiel. He came from the top of the carriage he was in, came down. They were talking about escaping or not. It looks like that she was kind of having an argument with herself. Do I escape? What about my friends? What if this community, these people are actually good people and trying to help us and I'm just being uh, bad, you know? Like, she, she's having a battle with herself. She thinks she's talking to Eugene. She thinks she has a conversation with Yumiko. I don't know if all of this was true that happened in the episode, but going by what happened with Ezekiel, a lot of it isn't. <laughs> it really isn't, you know? But... She's contemplating whether to escape or not. She does escape and she's at the gates of this community where she can escape and get away. But she sees a couple of walkers and she sees Ezekiel talking to the walkers. Hanging out with them. Hugging them. So there's another picture that she is just creating this all in her head. But back into the carriage. They're able to capture one of the guards. Guards coming in to give her some food. It looks like Ezekiel hits the guard. And then Ezekiel is on top beating the guard bloody and all that kind of stuff and princess is the one trying to get ezekiel off him 
when it turns out, when she snaps out of it, she's the one on top of the guard, and she's been the one beating the absolute shit out of this, this guard, who was actually trying to bring her food. She realizes what she did, she apologizes to the guard, she wants to make up for her, look, she, she'll tell, she doesn't want to cause any problems, she doesn't want her friends to get hurt, you know, and the guard's like, no, it's my responsibility, it happened to me, like, I have to take full responsibility, look, something like that, but it actually... The guard can see that she is very weakened, mentally weak. You know, he can see that there's something actually wrong with this girl. So he offers like an olive branch, like, okay, where are you? Like, where did you come from? Like, why are you here? And stuff like that. But Prince is just know that he has his walkie-talkie on. That's what it looked like for me. He pressed the button on the walkie-talkie so whoever's on the other end could hear exactly what was going on. So whoever's on the other end got to find out that why they're there, where they're from, you know, what's actually going on with them. Because earlier in the episode, she's interrogated by one of the, it seems like one of the main guards. And again, we don't get to find out anything about this community when we probably should have. But the guard's like, where are you from, all that kind of stuff. And he hits her and he hurts her and stuff like this. So this community doesn't seem to be that good if they're going to hit a woman like that, you know, when she just wouldn't answer their questions. But by the end of the episode, we're basically... At where we started, <laughs> you know, the group came to this community. They were captured, they had bags in their heads, and that's it. And that's how the episode really ends. You know, the guy's like, "I have her." He has her at gunpoint again. They open up the carriage, and there's Ezekiel, Yumiko, and Eugene with bags in their heads. And then it cuts to black, and we're we're exactly where we started. So this episode, I I wasn't too impressed by the way it was shot. You know, sometimes with bad episodes or episodes not not much happened, it was nicely shot. You know. Like, the Daryl episode, not much actually happened, but some of the cinematography, the acting, dialogue, all that stuff was pretty good. In this episode, it was kind of hard to follow because she was a false narrator. It, what was actually true in this episode, it was actually hard to know. But it did prove that Princess has been through a lot of shit in her, through her life. And we feel bad for her as viewers. And she gets it hard to trust people. She wants to love people. She doesn't want to lose her friends, even though she's just known them for a week. But you can see that she's gone through a lot of stuff. You know, she's been abused and we all feel bad for that. But she's also, there's something not right about her. And she could be a liability for the group going forward. Like, she could end up getting the group killed here because of her actions. It probably won't happen. But, you know, it's not good. Down the line, I could see Princess being a liability for the group unless she gets uh, better. Unless she kind of cures her weak mentality and whatever issue she's gone through. And even she manifested that Ezekiel was in the carriage with her and Ezekiel goes I won't let anyone hurt you ever again look that's what the kind of thing that she wants you know she wants a safe haven somebody that will protect her and it is a tragic thing to see someone go through that like Princess and I like Princess I like the actress that plays the character and I think it's a very interesting different character but this episode overall I wasn't too impressed it was a good episode yes good but it wasn't great and you know what I can understand if some people think it was a bad episode you know so but so far this season i've enjoyed the additional episodes this has probably been the weakest for me and one that i didn't really enjoy that much and i'm the biggest walking dead fanboy you could find even the worst episodes i say oh there was something pretty good in that but this episode just had a lot of nothing now i understand covid these people went back to work in a covid environment to give us entertainment and i'm thankful for that but it wasn't the best episode in my opinion i'm looking forward to the last two especially the negan origin story but I hope these characters in the situation that they find themselves in is redeemed in season 11. And we actually find out something about the Commonwealth. Something interesting. They could have dropped something here that kept our interest, but they didn't. But guys, what was your thoughts on season 10, episode 20, titled Splinter from the Walking Dead universe? What was your thoughts on it? Did you actually like it? You could have liked it. Maybe you did. Maybe I'm just being a, a sourpuss. I could be. But I usually like Walking Dead episodes a lot. This episode, maybe if I watch it again, I'll find something different with it. But I could just understand pretty quickly what they were going for, that she wasn't really seeing all this stuff, and you know. But maybe you liked it. But guys, appreciate you watching. Thumbs up, please, if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe as well if you like the videos on the channel. Come follow me on all the social medias. That stuff is in the end credits. And guys, leave a comment. I want to hear your thoughts. I really, really do. Enjoy. I'll be back next week to review the next episode of The Walking Dead. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I've been here for over a decade. I ain't leaving The Walking Dead universe anytime soon. I hope you aren't either. But guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy. Have a good one. And hopefully next week's episode is a lot better. And I'm sure the Negan standalone episode will be pretty badass. Little pig, little pig.